press conference. Uh, I see hands already raised. Ed Leahy, go first, please. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, it's uh, it's a really disappointing night, you know. Um, we, we went out there full of confidence and and uh, wanting to get 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 the win, and we 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 fully believed that we would, and um, it, it wasn't to be. Like you said, I had a couple of uh, efforts myself. I I fully backed myself to score the first one. I should do better. I, I should score. Um, uh, so that's on me. But uh, the players uh, they know it's not good enough out there tonight, and. Uh, we've got to dust ourselves down and, and uh, regroup because uh, there's no point um, dwelling on it and feeling sorry for ourselves. We need to uh, we need to stand up as men and, um, and and try and do better. Yeah, I uh, I completely agree with both the manager and and Seamus. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't acceptable and it it was embarrassing and um, we as players have got to take that on the chin and uh, uh, and uh, try and do better next time. But um, the game plan we, it's a new system. Carl, turn off your. Yeah, um, it, we, obviously we've come in this this camp with a, a, a new system and uh, a new style of play, which um, which is meant to be more more attacking, two strikers and two attacking uh, two attacking wing backs and a number ten. So um, we've been, we've been doing patterns of play uh, all week and um, training training's been good and uh, just tonight it just um, it, it just wasn't to be. We we created chances. My myself, me and myself had a couple and. Uh, and a few of the lads did, and we it just we just couldn't find the back of the net, and uh, we need to do we need to be a bit more ruthless in front of goal, I think. Gavin Cooney, please. Hey James, uh, thanks very much for coming out to talk to us. No uh, problem. You seem to be really lacking urgency, especially in nil nil in the second half. Why was that? Um, that that certainly wasn't um the message. Um, the we want we wanted to go and win the game. Um, I don't know if there was a few tired legs uh, from from the other night. I'm not I'm not sure, um, but we we certainly wanted to go and win, uh, go out and win the game. And I think second half we had the chances to do that. Um, and Luxembourg uh, uh, um, came here with a game plan and they executed it better than us. And uh, and that's that, that's the most disappointing thing. Certainly not. Um, there's and and there's no point in uh, any of us uh, thinking like that because that's that's not going to get you anywhere. Um, we need to be uh, first of all. We need to get ready for Tuesday and get a positive result there, and hopefully that will give us a lift. And uh, we go into um, to the games in uh, September and um, we we full of confidence again, refreshed, and it's a new challenge. But I'd never say that we're we're uh, the World Cup qualifiers are over because that's uh, that's not an attitude that. Um, us as players and staff and, and a country should have. And finally, James, uh, do you still have confidence that the manager can turn this around and, and ensure that these kind of performances and results don't really happen again? 100%. I think it's, it's, it's not the manager's fault, that performance tonight. It's uh, the responsibility lays with the players. We're, we're out there and um, we're, the ones, we're the ones on the pitch and putting in that performance. So um, I fully back the, uh, the manager and, and all the staff. And... Uh, uh, and I think we uh, we should look at ourselves as players and, and, and try and do better. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, that that will be the case. Thanks, James. No problem. Nathan Murphy, please. Uh, James, just on the substitutions in the second half that were being made, they, they didn't seem to make much of an impact. Was there any confusion as to what was happening as the changes were being made with the game plan in the second half? Um. No, well, I think uh, Doc's got picked up an injury in the in the first half, and 
and uh, and then Alan Brown moved out to uh, wing back and Robbie Brady come into to the number 10 where um Alan was Alan left but um no, no there was no, there was no confusion there I think I think uh Robbie come on and, and and made an impact and um looked really lively and um it, and uh, yeah so that 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 was a that was the changes what was said obviously Stephen Kenny and James Foreman have had some strong comments but what was said in the dressing room after the match well um as you can imagine the uh, the dressing room was uh, really low um we uh we got the thoughts from the staff and 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 a few of the players had their say as well but um uh, that will all stay in house as as you can imagine but um it, it was certainly some home truths uh, um, spoken there, and and I think that can only benefit benefit us moving forward. Thanks, James. And we're going to end with Damien Sparman, please. Hey, James, just just one. Does this have to be a watershed moment for the, the international team? Do you have to sort of draw a line on this and virtually start again? One hundred percent. There's no way. There's no point in dwelling on uh, on, on tonight. We, uh, you've got to accept it. We've got to digest it, and and and, and we've got to be men. We've, we've got to move forward. We've, we've got a game on Tuesday, which if we go and get a positive result, it can lift everything. Albeit being a friendly, but winning games always breeds confidence. And uh, and I think uh, we we need to digest it tonight, and then tomorrow it's we go back to training and we start fresh. Um, I can totally understand um, the point of view from the fans and uh, everyone watching. It's it's not good enough, but um, we we we're doing our best to. Uh, we, sorry, we will do our best to uh, to rectify it definitely. Okay, okay, guys, we'll end it there. We've got Gavin Zuni coming up next. Okay.